small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you like my videos, please subscribe. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later if you want to. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me Austin here back playing some World Box. If you guys have been enjoying this series so far, make sure to give a like and consider subscribing as well. So, I remember in, la in the last episode, I helped out this kingdom here grow a little bit more by uh, making sure that they have a little bit of extra land that they can expand onto. Um, now, part of me is surprised that nobody's taken up this land and this land yet. Um, now, I just want to quickly refresh myself on um, relations. Um, so, looks like this kingdom is at war with these two guys, and they're at war with them. Other than that, it looks pretty clean. And I suppose these guys are at war with each other as well. So there, there is a lot of action going on in terms of war, but, um, if there's anything that I've learned um, from war is that nobody really wins, so to speak. Um, it takes decades to to bounce back from, from wars, even if you are the so-called winner. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's resume the game here. Um, there's only 10 people left here. Um, one out of zero in the army, so one last little push will knock this kingdom, um, down. It looks like this is, uh, really good real estate as well, so, um, whoever gets this land should be in a pretty good spot, um. Windmill, watchtowers, um, so it looks like it's pretty, uh, a pretty good spot to, to be in, um, so I won't be surprised if, um, another kingdom in this episode takes claim of this, uh, land here. So what are these guys up to? Passengers. Right, and these guys share borders. Um, let's compare army sizes for a second. Six and 61. Okay, so this empire here is absolutely screwed, but if there's anything that I've learned from this game is that they kind of have trouble making the decision of finishing each other off. So I won't be surprised if this um, kingdom here actually bounces back um, at least a little bit. Five passengers. Where are they going to send their, their uh, army to this time? Back here. Okay. Oh, there's a... Interesting. Okay. They're, uh, it looks like they're going for it. Looks like they're going for the kill here. There's even, there's even some gold over here. The king of, uh, this empire was killed. Yeah, I'm really not, there's zero people in the army, so I'm not even going to be surprised. Um, what is this ship doing? There's 10 passengers on it. Okay. Honestly, I'm just kind of excited for this, for these wars to come to an end. And, uh, you know, the start of a new era. Hopefully a peaceful one at that. Um, let's speed up the time a little bit. I don't want to make this island a little bit bigger. I'm not going to lie. It 
Let's add some forest soil around here. Um, let's add some over here. See, now these guys can really expand, and hopefully they can get their population to at least 100. I mean, I really hope it's them that discovers all this land over here, and then they extend their borders. Looks like they are extending their borders, which is exactly what I uh, want. Look at this, they only have four people uh, left in their kingdom over here. And the kingdom has collapsed. Now the question is, who's going to take claim? This empire or this empire? Well, I'm really surprised that this, uh, the no kingdom isn't really trying to take control. I mean, this land right here is like free real estate right now. Like, they should be trying to expand, should they not? The big question is, is who's going to claim this land? Who's going to do it? That is the big question. At this point, it's like... Oh, a new village has been founded. Where? Oh, right here. So it looks like this kingdom... Has taken advantage of the situation. Now they have a new village. However, no kingdom is expanding their territory like I thought they should have been doing earlier on. Um, I would highly suggest that this kingdom here continues to expand um, eastward. But, of course, I'm not, not in the game, uh, so I can't make that decision. Really excited for this empire though. They have more space now, so hopefully they can uh, grow. Um, doesn't really look like they have many resources. I need to help them out with that. Because with more resources, it's easier to grow. And look, look at this. This kingdom has a population of over 100. Um, in the meantime, though, I think I will place down some different resources around here. Let's have a few ore deposits. I definitely want them to have access to gold. Remember the golden age of civilization? Gosh. Let's, uh, let's add some fruit bushes. Just to give them another option for food. And as I was doing this, the king, this kingdom here has expanded west, uh, or east. Yes, east, and then this kingdom here is expanding west. They have over 500 people. In their kingdom now. Um, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I really hope that this kingdom here can grow. Because I don't want them to just be seen as like kind of an easy target. Kingdom of Great Kitty has been killed again. Seems like they're not having that great of luck with keeping their king alive. And maybe they're not expanding this way because there's not a big enough connection. What if I... And just, like, place a few bits of sand. 
Is is that a big enough connection for you guys to want to go this way? It is. Wow. Oh man, these two borders are so close to touching. But uh this kingdom over here got the mine. Well I suppose they they have they have one over here, but Dude, this kingdom is huge. Holy cow. It, it's like literally in the center of the world. Well, not literally. I guess literally would be right here, but but still. So they're expanding this way now. Um this kingdom, uh realm of the key, they're expanding uh, westward. Uh-oh. Looks like we're not going to get a uh, peaceful time anytime soon. This kingdom has declared... Wait, why would you do that? Why... As the king of this empire here, why would you declare war on this kingdom? Their army is 34 people. Okay, well, I suppose you have a bigger army, but they they have way more people in their army to to, or they have way more people in their population, to act as, uh, like, reserves in their army. Like, why would you, they technically have like six hundred people, six hundred thirty one people in their army? Well, they technically only have uh, one hundred ninety nine. Like that was a terrible decision. Now they're going to lose all their territory, most likely. Um, Unless if this kingdom just sucks at fighting, which could be the case because it, it, it's one of the most recently um, um, new kingdoms, I guess you could call it. Um, I do want to add sand over here so these guys can expand southward. Um, hopefully not destroying that watchtower, I would appreciate that. Just placing some sand around here. Okay, so that should do it. That should be enough of a connection. So they share boards. Yeah, they're they're already fighting. <laughs> And wow, they're okay. Yeah, this is a. I'm not totally sure. Like, this is like I'm never gonna get peace, am I, in this world? I, I can't. I can't even tell who's winning at this point. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a lot. Um, the kingdom of the kingdom. Oh, the king of this kingdom died, and then the king of this kingdom died. And then the king of this kingdom died. And then this kingdom ha has a new king. Interesting. Oh, but they're <laughs> they're sent they sent people over here to, to try to. Get some chaos. Which actually seems like it's not that bad of an idea. Because no kingdom, they at least temporarily lost this piece of land here. Lost control of it. Uh, okay, how, how are they just... Uh, this is crazy. Uh... 251 they're destroying them what <laughs> I thought they would lose honestly honestly it would be so cool if if these guys actually won because they've been a small kingdom on this island with for what seems like forever and now look how many troops are are trying to oh my gosh this is very bad for no kingdom here this is very very bad for them 
Look, look how many troops is here. That's ridiculous, man. This could be the opportunity that this kingdom was looking for to become the new global superpower. Where the, where the kingdom that, that had control of this land collapsed, they took advantage of it, made this village here, and now just planning on destroying anybody in their path. That could be their plan. Because now, these guys have a bigger population than these guys. In one push. Well, this might explain it. They have 30 passengers here, but... But still, like, these guys are, are clearly way more skilled at fighting than them. Um... So, I, I don't believe this is going to do too much. Um, but, you know, anything's possible. They actually lost this little bit of land here for a second. Wait, is, is he seriously collecting troops to bring them home? What? The king has been killed on this kingdom. So if you zoom out, you see there's actually no king. Eventually there will be a, be another king. Oh, they're losing territory. Uh, oh my gosh. And then they elected a new king, and then the king immediately got killed. How are they destroying them? I mean, gosh, this is crazy, man. Oh, uh, no way. No way they just destroyed their kingdom in one swift blow. No way. What? What? I, I, I'm astounded. Like, I, I'm lost for words. Like, this Like this is what happened. The, like, there was so many... These guys are literally... They just waited everybody out. That's, what, that's exactly what they did. Oh my gosh. That was probably their plan the entire time. They just let everybody wear each other out. And then whenever this piece of... This big piece of land fell here... That was that was once a kingdom in a, in one of the biggest villages on the entire map. Whenever that fell, they they established a village here, continued to uh, to push eastward, and they absolutely destroyed the kingdom that had way more population than them. That I thought that would absolutely destroy them. Holy cow! That's ridiculous. What is he? I, okay, I gotta look. I gotta quickly look at relations here. Okay, so so there's nothing wrong. Like they don't have any problems with anybody. So these. Uh, so Great Kitty is still at war with these two kingdoms here. Everything. Everybody else seems like they're just peaceful with each other. So it's really only this war now that's going on. Um. Between Grey Kirito and these two kings I'm here. Which I'm assuming they have aligned themselves together. Um, as as an alliance to fight Great Kirito. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But but anyway you guys. I think that's going to be the end of the episode there. It was a jam packed episode full of action. If you guys have enjoyed it. Please hit the like button. And consider subscribing as well with post notifications on. And if you do have post notifications on, you actually will get uploaded or notified when I upload a new video. So you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.